We all love a trip to the movies, but do you know what really goes on behind the velvet curtain? While you're watching the new blockbuster, you're missing so much else. When the lights go down, they hide a myriad of dark secrets that the people in charge of movie theaters do not want you to know. Luckily, we're here to expose them. Here's our top 10. Amazing! Number 10. You may be sick. We go to the movies to relax, to escape from our daily lives for a couple of hours. What we don't go to the movies for is to be sick, but that's exactly what can happen if you see a film in 3D. When we watch an immersive 3D film, your eyes send messages to your brain that you are moving. However, your inner ear, which contains fluid to sense movement, does not send these messages to your brain because you're actually sitting still. Many people find these mixed messages between our brains, eyes, and ears make them feel nauseous. Me, I get sick having to pay extra for those silly glasses. Lots of people have been known to faint while watching horror films. At the 2016 Toronto International Film Festival, the premiere of cannibal-themed horror movie Raw caused several viewers to pass out in the owls. One unlucky viewer hit his head on the way down, requiring medical attention. Finally, don't make things worse by turning up drunk. An Oregon man went to see Rogue One after a few beers. He fell asleep, and when he woke up, the theater had closed for the night, leaving him locked inside. He had to dial 911 to find someone to set him free. The Force wasn't with him that night. Number 9. Audiovisual Lies I doubt you've ever brought earplugs to a theater, but maybe you should think about it. While the industry standard volume for movies is 85 decibels, theaters turn their volumes up as high as 130 decibels, the same volume as a jet taking off. Experts in the US recommend never listening to anything higher than 90, but there are no laws telling theaters not to crank up the volume, so this practice will probably continue. Now on to what you see. If your local theater advertises that they show their movies in Extreme Digital, don't be too impressed. Extreme Digital is just a fancy name for a standard movie digital projection system. Theaters use this instead of the more high-end IMAX systems because it's cheaper and easier to maintain. That's not to say IMAX is always that great either. The standard size for an IMAX screen is 72 feet wide by 52 feet tall, but not all theaters have the room to accommodate a screen of this size. It doesn't stop them saying they're IMAX though. For example, the IMAX screen at the AMC Empire in New York's Times Square is only 58 feet by 28 feet, not much more than half the standard size. Do your research before you go to find out whether you'll be watching an IMAX or LIMAX. Number 8. You won't save money buying snack combos. Gorging yourself on snacks is one of the best parts of going to the movies. However, you need to make sure if you're buying one of those snack combos at the concession stand, you're not being taken for a ride. For example, the number four combo at this theater only saves you 12 cents over buying your hot dog, nachos, and large drinks separately. Combos give the customer an illusion that they're actually saving money, encouraging them to buy more food than they actually want to eat. You're actually spending more than you would normally to get nothing more than a nice cardboard snack holder. Next time you're thinking of getting a combo at the movies, do some mental math first. Number seven, the staff like to have fun. When they finish selling you some ridiculous 3D glasses or sweeping up your dropped popcorn, movie theater staff like to let off some steam. Most of the time, theater employees are allowed to see whatever movies they like for free. In fact, it's encouraged because they'll be better at answering customers' questions if they've actually seen the film. Things aren't as fun as they used to be, however. A few years ago, after the theaters closed, lucky employees could rig their PlayStations and Xboxes up to an available big screen for some supersized gaming. Apparently, playing Call of Duty on a cinema screen with super surround sound is as fun as you think. Unfortunately, as movie technology has evolved, this can't be done anymore. Spoil sports. If you know someone who works in a theater, maybe you can go and let off some steam with them. Most theaters allow their employees to give out a free tickets to their friends every so often. Just don't ask too many questions. Number six, your theater isn't clean. Theaters make their money by packing their shows full of people. As a result, they don't allow much time between shows to clean the auditorium. Sometimes, cleaners only have a few minutes to do their thing before the next show starts, and several shows start and end at the same time. So all they'll do is give the theater a simple sweep. No vacuuming, no carpet cleaning, they have to wait until the end of the day. That's what gives your local theater's carpet that sticky quality you know and love. If you want to help the poor, overworked theater cleaner, you could take your trash home with you. If that's too difficult for you, try leaving your trash on top of your seat rather than on the floor under it. It makes it easier for the cleaners to see it. If you're one of those people that likes to take their baby to the movies, please go to the bathroom to change their diaper rather than doing it in the aisle. Theater cleaners do not like finding a fully loaded baby diaper under the seats after the latest Disney film. Number five, 
you might see some previews that shock you. One of the most annoying things about visiting the theater is when you turn up at the time shown online or on the ticket, but the movie doesn't start until half an hour later. This is done on purpose, so the theaters can sell you snacks and make money from showing you advertising. More about that later. Theaters also like to use this time to show you movie previews, letting you know what's on, tempting you to come back. The previews are supposed to match the movie that you're seeing, so if you're seeing a Disney movie, the previews will show you similar stuff. However, in 2016, viewers in a California theater, patiently waiting to see Finding Dory, were unfortunately confronted with previews for R-rated Seth Rogen comedy, Sausage Party, complete with rude jokes and swearing. Do you think that's bad? In 2013 in Florida, families waiting to see Frozen were treated to a preview for the sexually explicit thriller, Nymphomaniac. The theater manager's face was frozen in horror. Number 4. Popcorn is expensive We've already established that movie snacks are expensive, but did you know that like for like, movie popcorn costs more than the finest filet steak? Multiplying out the cost of a small bag, a kilo of popcorn at a Cineworld in the UK costs 65 pounds. A kilo of dry-aged wing rib of prime Aberdeen Angus beef, 57 pounds. Unfortunately, you literally can't help buying it because it smells so darn good. Popcorn makers use artificial smells like coconut oil and canola oil to create that heavenly aroma. Popcorn tastes good even if it's not as fresh as you might think. Popcorn stays fresh for about two days, but it's not unheard of for theaters to make a large batch and make it last a week. The thing is, selling snacks is one of the only ways theaters can make money these days. For the first one or two months that a theater shows a movie, all the revenue from ticket sales goes straight to the movie studio. Theaters only start to make money when a movie has been on for more than three months. If we weren't paying over the odds for our popcorn, the theaters might not be able to survive. Number 3. You'll be shown lots of ads as we mentioned before, another way theaters can make money is to show you ads before the movie. That's probably why the time theaters spend showing you has gotten longer and longer over the years. The time between switching on the projector and actually showing the movie is about half an hour now, and audiences are getting angry about it. However, the revenue movie advertising increases about 10% every year, so don't expect it to stop anytime soon. On average, a 30-second movie theater ad costs £1,345 per screen per month. No wonder theaters like to pack in as many as possible. If you don't want to see ads, there is a way around it. The start time published online may not be accurate, but the end time always is. If you can find out the end time and the length of the movie, you can do some math and work out what time to arrive. Good luck! Number 2. Get the best seat in the house Not all seats in the theater are created equal. When auditoriums are being designed and maintained, the audio technicians usually sit in a seat two-thirds of the way back, bang in the center, when they're calibrating the equipment. If you can bag that seat, you'll be assured of the optimism movie-going experience. If you like the sound a bit softer, though, you can sit towards the wall. Incidentally, once you've bagged the best seat in the house and placed your large overpriced soda in your cup holder, consider for a second what people did before 1981. That was the year the cup holder was invented. Did they place their soda between their legs, freezing their thighs to the bone? Or did they place their drinks on the floor, leaving themselves open to spillages? It's a dilemma and no mistake. Before I reveal the number one spot, I'd like to remind you to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated, or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number one you'll be subject to subliminal selling. We know that theaters need to sell you as many snacks as they can, but you also need to know that they'll stop at nothing to do it. Like a shopping mall or supermarket, a movie theater is designed to extract as much money out of you as possible. They're set up so you can't get to the movie auditorium without passing the concession stand. If you've got kids with you, they're bound to see the images of their favorite movie characters on the buckets of popcorn artfully displayed all around the building. During the extra long advert section, bumpers before the movie tell you when there's just enough time to nip to the lobby for a treat. Perhaps the sneakiest subliminal method is that some theaters have special vents leading into the auditorium. They hook these vents up to the exhaust of the popcorn machines, pumping chemically enhanced, heavenly popcorn vapor into the auditorium. The audience can feel themselves getting hungrier, just sitting there. Who in their right mind could resist buying a bucket of popcorn after that? Have you noticed any of these movie theater tricks? Do you know any hacks to get around them? Or maybe you've played Xbox in a movie theater. Either way, leave us a comment to let me know down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.